After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I work in the night shift. We deal with a lot of people that are intoxicated or uh, under the influence of drugs. So naturally, their anxiety levels are pretty high. Sometimes we do have to go hands-on with people, and that's when our job gets really tough for us. I haven't seen him before. Are you a veteran? You are? Oh, we so, got the stare down. He's already tried to kick a deputy okay, out there, so. Okay. So as soon as he's cleared by the nurse, we'll take control. Hopefully, he'll calm down. And if not, then we'll have to put him in a holding cell. He's a big boy, too. Medically cleared. Yeah. Medically cleared. What's going on, guys? How's it going? What do we got? Trespassing. 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 A guy called us. I, I guess he got dropped off by a cab and just went and sat down on the guy's front porch and banging on his windows and doors. Oh, and the complaint didn't know him? No, he had nope. no idea who he was. He's giving you a little bit of a problem or what? He wasn't that bad, but he he tensed up on us when we handcuffed, handcuffed him. And he tried to kick me in the sally port a couple times. But okay, so he's combative when he came in here pretty yeah. much. Yeah. All right, sir. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right. You understand what you've been arrested for? No. OK, you've been arrested for trespassing, OK? You understand where you're at right now? You're in the county jail, right? OK, are you going to give us any problems? Am I? I don't know. You tell me. we got a process to go through. You give us any problems, you're not going to get a chance to bond out. You going to be straight with that? We'll see. All right, we'll move. All right, we'll see. Step over here for me. You're going to face this window over here with this grate. Stand up. Step right over here, face that window. Face the window. Spread your feet. Do you have any drugs, weapons, needles, razors, anything sharp in your pockets? Tell me. Do you have anything on you illegal, sir? Tell me. OK, well, we'll find out if you have anything illegal on you or not, all right? So what's, what's the issue, man? Hmm? You're here for a misdemeanor charge. All you're doing right now is making it harder for yourself. The more you cooperate with us, the quicker you'll be able to get out of here. All right, sir, we're going to step right over here where it says photo ID and fingerprint. Leave all that stuff there. I'll take care of it. Have a seat on the stool. Timmy! Love you, bro. Love you. Timmy? Who's Timmy? My brother. Your brother? Yeah. Is your brother here? I am. Oh, you are. Yeah. So what happened tonight? You don't want to talk about it? No? My no. dad and Tim are awesome. Your dad and Tim? Sit down. Sit down. Tim? You're not going to resist. You understand me? <laughs> Ow! 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 I'm not resisting. You sure you're not resisting right now? I'm not. Pop four. I'm not resisting. Let go of the. Let go of the counter. Let go of the counter. Get your hand behind your back. Get your hand behind your back. Get your hand behind your back. Get your hand behind your back now. Do it now. Cuff him up. What was that all about? Uh, huh? Nothing? Uh, you sure? Because uh, you stood up like you want to fight. Uh, was it really worth it? Uh, huh? Uh, all right, sir, we're going to get to your knees, and then we're going to stand up. Okay, Ready? Up on three. One, One two, two, three. What's the issue? You think you can act like a jackass? Uh, huh? You sure? Have a seat in there. All right, no problem. Sit down. What happened? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Nothing happened. You stand up in a threatening manner towards deputies and. I didn't threaten anybody. You, you're intoxicated, correct? I never you, said that either. You've been drinking? No, I never said that. We're not looking for you to say that. Follow directions and be processed. All right, cool. You sit in those cuffs until you can cooperate. Is that understood? Yes. Okay. Hey, don't be banging your head on the glass. It's quiet. You want those handcuffs off? No. OK, then that's fine. Then we're all happy, right? There you go. Relax, and we'll get you through the process. All right? OK.
I think we're going to go ahead and process William now. He's calmed down quite a bit. Pops, let's give him another chance. William, we're not going to have any more issues like earlier, right? No. No issues. No issues? All right. Put your hand up on the wall when he gets his cuff off, OK? Oh. All right, well, go ahead and sit down. All right. You're 43 years old, right? 44. Okay. You're, and a you're a Marine. You're an ex-Marine. Oh, yeah. All right. No. Pretty proud of it. still a Marine. You're still a Marine. Still a Marine, but pretty proud of it, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do me a favor, all right? Get dressed, then we'll get you processed, all right? Right over here, sir. Here we go. I need you to place both thumbs right there on that red pad for me. Do you understand why you've been arrested tonight? Why? Because you were banging on somebody's door. Mm -hmm. You didn't belong yet. Do you remember being there? No. No? Did you have a little bit of drink tonight? Not enough. Not enough? <laughs> Seemed like an all right guy, man. You just got to have a little bit too much to drink tonight. Says who? <laughs> well, says your actions when you came in here. You weren't cooperating with the uh, arresting officers. And unless you're normally like that, I mean, I don't know you, but all mad at the world. Not me. OK. Yeah. All right, so we're going to separate over here. Have a seat right there on that red stool for me. Yeah. All right. Hey, William. What happened earlier? Coming over there and resisting and... No resisting. No, no resisting? <clears throat> no. You got, a, you got an explanation for that, or...? Yeah, it's just, you know, being a Marine and just being in combat and mm -hmm. just being out in... Out in the field? Out in the field. Yeah. I, I feel I'm better than having to go through the whole process that I hear. I understand that, and you know what? So I, I can understand. Just, some pride in that. That's fine. We I understand. can respect that. You know, serving our country, everything like that. But you still get a process. Mm -hmm. And you would think, being military personnel, you know the word respect. Respect our jobs because we got a job to do, just I like am. you. You do. Oh, but that's why I'm not resisting. Well, I know, but earlier, earlier you did. Earlier was a little pain. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so it, it, it seems like all you right. get a little bit of pride. I'm trying. You, hey. you know what I'm saying? It's all right, man. All right. All right, let's just do this. All, all right, right. process, right. man. Maybe we're going to step over there, have a seat in the second or third row in the blue chairs for me, all right? I think whatever he had wrong with him was got through his system. I think he's we'll a little stubborn about his ways, but I think that's just William. He was a Marine, so. They're all business. So. Absolutely. We get a large variety of type of people, a lot of transients coming in, a lot of people with, um, with drug-related crimes coming in. It's always different. Lots and lots and lots of alcohol and drug-related crimes coming in. No, no, no. Come on over here, sir. Hey, you know me, Scott. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing I'm in cuffs. What do you mean, how am I doing? What brings you in today? I, I got drunk and stupid. That's what brought me in. How about drunk and stupid. More specifically, what's going on? Specifically, you, you know me. OK. Drunk and stupid, basically. Or literally. What do you mean, basically? Michael has been contrite. Michael told us where the car was. So we've I did everything right got the car back. So the lady will get her car back. That was oh, nice stupid. of him. I did everything right. I, did, I got drunk and stupid. You did some she stuff right. Just had a few drinks and. Oh, a few drinks, yeah. Michael? God, it's been like four years since I've been here. So you've been doing all right until today. I've been great. Until today. I've been doing so good. You don't even know. I just got me a new girl today. Hey, we were just. Oh, my God, man. I can't believe this is happening right, to me, to be honest with you. This is, like, totally unbelievable. Five minutes ago, you told me you were expecting us. Oh, I was expecting you. You had yeah. it still a surprise? Because it was four days ago, but getting drunk and stupid. So I apologize. So I apologize. I told where the car was, everything. So yeah, I walked out of the store. The car was started, and I just jumped in and left. So it was out there just idling? No, yeah. It was just right there, started. And I've never done that before, ever in my life. I've never had a UUMB, Scott. You know me. So I've got a lot of charges, bro, but it never a UUMB. Come on, man. So where'd you go? I, I, mean, I just left. And after I went a block, I'm like, holy <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> you know? So you got out the car after like a block or so? No, I you took it to all your friend Meyer so I wouldn't get in trouble. I thought they'd just um, check somebody out there. I'm stupid, you know? I mean, I'm really a nice guy, though. He was entirely on the video at the store immediately before going outside to steal the car. St to steal the car? I, went, I didn't go out there to steal the car. Okay, I, I, mis I misspoke. You went outside, was... and then the car yeah, here you go. slid 10 yes. feet to the right, and you fell into the driver's seat. Bro, the son of a bitch was started. I was drunk. I was like, holy 
There's a started car. I jumped in it and left. Steal me. And three and blocks away. Seductively. You're an ass. Three blocks away. I three blocks away. I'm like, holy shit, what am I doing? You know, I didn't do this shit on purpose. I mean, come on, Scott. Please, man. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I fed up. And you're owning it, so that's actually that's, that's right. actually I'm the up, bro, That's a redeeming you know? quality, but you're actually you're actually owning it. So. I know what happened. You know, right. I fed up. Okay. You know, and I wish I dude, I just talked to my new girl and I was like, I just stole a car four days ago. I'm like, hey, I don't even know how to how to um how to make up for it, you know what I mean? As far as karma goes, because I'm a karma guy, man. You know, I didn't, and she's like, well, we'll, we'll check it out, you know? And, here I am. Michael, come on. He said he went to a store, walked outside the store, there was a car there idling. And he goes, hmm, car idling, jumps in the car and drives off. He said a couple blocks later, he's like, what am I thinking? So he goes and ditches the car in a supermarket parking lot, and then they wind up picking him up shortly thereafter. You look okay? You look good. I always look good. your head up straight. Don't tilt it. I always look good. Hold your head straight and stop moving. Go smile. Oh, smile. smile. I can't but smile. No, Take my smile. picture. Come on. Sound down there on the bottom of the store, y'all. One more. All right, so you can go wash your hands over there. He got early release before he talks to the judge. He'll leave, they'll give him a court date. He'll have to come back and then touch base with the judge about what he did, which is basically what we call arraignment when you're formally told up your charges. Ready to go release? We're gonna stand on the black line. All right, let's head out. Yeah, I don't need that brown no more, bro. So what's way it gonna be, a, you know. another four years before I see you again? Yeah, probably, at least that. At least that. But not she for, comes out, come do my barbecue. But not, uh, <laughs> not for jumping in cars, island in front of stores. Damn, that not man, this time, that's huh? terrible, man. I feel so bad, you know. I was just talking to my new girlfriend. I'm like, how am I gonna make this right? She's like, well, I know. She never told me. Yeah, I'll be damned if I go to jail tonight. You know, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, the coolest thing about it is, you know, you're taking some ownership behind it, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. There's actually, uh, sounds like there's actually some remorse. That's actually redeeming. That makes me think that you might not be coming back in I'm here. I'm not coming back. I'm It's actually, it's a bit not too busy tonight, so you got, you got cleared a little earlier. I was gonna have you sign some papers, man, then you um, step through that and you know the way out. I know it's been a minute. Take care of yourself. You have a good one, No more cars, right? No, hell no. So tonight, he's out. Hopefully, we won't see him back in in any vehicles that aren't his. I've been doing this for 15 years now. It's been a really rewarding career. I really enjoy the tactical side of this because it, we deal with anything from high-risk transports to riots, anything on the outside. My military career helped prepare me for something like this. It was the discipline which helped develop how I act on a specialized response team. Everybody, I'll be quiet for everybody. You're welcome. Take care. Excuse me? Shut me a long time ago. Step up. I dare you. Step up, homie. I did nothing wrong. Step up. I dare you. Dare you, ass. Step the up. Now look away. Thank you. You two are ass. Look away. You take care. Peace out, homie. Shut the up. That's right. Thank you. I appreciate it, Mr. Carroll. I dare you. Just turn and face the front and mind your business. Okay. Like I told the other individual right here, he has no idea what he's doing or why he's here. Just mind yourself. I apologize, Officer Carrillo. To you yes, sir. move down to the middle. You sit there, you be quiet, and mind your business. Well, we got to get him through the blood draw first. He's got another blood draw he's got to do. And then... So what happened tonight with Joe? According to all the witnesses, he blew the red light going eastbound on, on Desert Inn as two vehicles were entering the intersection on a green light. And he hit the car and pretty much tore the back end of the car off. Um, the driver wasn't wearing a seatbelt in that car. She was completely ejected from the car and landed in the roadway. His speedometer was pegged at 120 miles an hour. Um, just stopped, locked in place, the moment of impact. Yeah. He did admit to drinking three beers in the golf course earlier, but I don't know that this is related specifically to beer. I think there's drugs on board. Come on. Time to get out. Yes, sir. Peace out. Keep walking. Keep yes, walking. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
We're gonna be doing a blood test because you sent somebody to the hospital who's possibly gonna die. You probably will. You see my car? Tell me, it's Mr. Atkinson. Atkinson. A is an apple. T is in Tom. K is in oh Kin. K I N like. You know what Kin is? Next of Kin. Love you. I will never talk to you again. Take Keep care. Keep your arm down. Yes, sir. I don't have any, sir. I didn't spit. Stop even trying to spit. I didn't spit, sir. Stop trying to. I don't have any spit. No saliva. I apologize. I'll stop. Seven cars involved total. It was actually called in as Autopad because the lady was laying in the road. And he's more worried about his car than... No, I'm worried just, about yeah. me, okay? I'm okay. Yeah, well... Thank you. Take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, he's got to roll. Or sergeant. This one. I, I don't think so. I, I'm not... Look, ouch. Keep I'm not. moving. Yes, sir. Which cell? The third one left? I don't know. Z3. Yep. Kneel down. Yes, sir. How many ones? Don't move until the door shuts. Yes, sir. Yep, I got it. I got it. I don't even think he knows where he's at. I've been saying that to the other officers outside. He has no idea what he's doing, why he's doing it. He's challenging guys out there, then all of a sudden, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I apologize. Good deal. So blood draws are done. We're good to go. Blood draws are done. Did you drink today? Yes. How much did you have today? I had a uh, Long Island iced cheese. So there's more than one? Two. OK, that's more than one. OK. Yes. You are good to go? OK, so have a seat in the second Well, how soon it goes? How long is it going to take? What are you here for? What am I? Sir? What do you think you're here for? What be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and you need your quota to be met. So what happened tonight? Uh, basically, we got a, uh, a call saying that uh, he was sitting at the corner trap and yelling and screaming at the patrons of the gas station. Uh, when I get there, he was very belligerent and under the influence. He uh, proceeded to, to tell me that he's an ex-felon, which after I run him, he, he's a five-time ex-felon, which required him to register. He, Claims that he's a transient now. Got kicked out by his wife. He asked me for a place to stay tonight. I told him that since he's the next felon and hasn't registered, he can come stay at Clark County. Hey, Mark. Okay. All right, Mark, you understand why you're being arrested, right? Yes, sir. Okay. As an next felon you need to register. You understand that? That's appreciated. Okay. All right. Mark, I'm out of here. Okay? You, my money's over there, right? All your money's in there, your property's My hookers there. too, right? No, we didn't bring those. You're cool. All right, man. Hey, he's good looking, ain't he? You can call me later. <laughs> he asked if he could get a drink of water and asked if we could move seats, and I said no. He got up and got a drink of water, but he moved seats anyway. So. If he makes it out there in open booking any, any longer, I'll be surprised. See, the you, first row, she sir. She said you go back to your same seat. I didn't know, first row. First you asked row. them, could, could you move the seat? They said no, right? They said no, right? Am I right? And I asked for a drink of water. And then you came back and you sat here anyway. Do you actually know what? OK, go on. I want to hear this. Stand up. Come back here. Sit right here. This is your seat. Oh, I love it. You right sit right there. Keep your mouth closed. Thank you. I appreciate that. He gets to argue about everything. Hopefully, he'll calm down and make it through right instead of being a pain. Joe is quite a bit combative and disruptive. I'm going to check on him, make sure he's all right. Do you know where you're at? No, sir. <laughs> so you have no idea why you're in jail right now? No, sir. OK. I'm going to go ahead and let you calm down a little bit. I'm going to shut this door and come back and talk to you, OK? Yes, sir. I apologize. <laughs> Even though he claims that he doesn't know why he's here or where he's at, I think everything's starting to set in a little bit. And it looks like he still might be under the influence of something. He may, may have some other issues going on. I got a phone call and I was dropping the blood off uh, for the first blood draw that uh, the subject of transport that was ejected from the vehicle um, actually opened her eyes and started responding to the doctor. So she's awake right now. So hope for the best for her. So what are you going to charge him with? Right now, we're looking at, at uh, felony reckless driving, uh, felony DUI, um, because he doesn't appear to be under the influence of something impairing his system, whether it's drugs or alcohol or a combination of the two. It was, it was a big scene. We'll take it from here. All right, thanks, guys. 
the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride now the night hits my face and it brings me to life oh lord now i'm out that jail tonight another night in my street another night in my hair now i'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight i'm gonna go home to my family tonight and the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home.